Dear good people, seeing the glory of God in the midst of misery is a mark of spiritual maturity. It is a mark of depth in our believing and in our faith. Jesus told Mary, if you believe, you will see the glory of God. John chapter 11 verse 40. If you believe, you will see the glory of God. After which he prayed a prayer of thanksgiving, for he saw the good things. Aha! Uh -huh. Jesus saw the good things. Mary saw death. Jesus saw the good things. Mary saw a stinking body. Jesus saw the good things. The rest of the family members were hopeless. Jesus saw the resurrection from the full smearing tomb. And he saw the glory of God. Whenever there is full smearing, we feel hopeless and a deep sense of loss. It is in that kind of hopelessness that Jesus saw the resurrection. It is in the situations that we will be at some point if we have not, not been there. And then we are, we are expected not to see the death and the stinking bodies, but to feel and to see the glory of God and things will be all right. And then we will say, Praise be to God forever and ever. And we can say thank you. We can sing a song of thanksgiving and we can do a prayer of thanksgiving. This will help us to always say thank you even when nothing good is happening. We, we are celebrating the kids who performed very well in their exams. We will celebrate the Form 4s uh, when the exams are out. We celebrate those who did very well. But we are a bit quiet to those who didn't perform very well. We will also be quiet to the Form 4s who may not do as we would have wanted. Uh, I know at this point we also have the schools where we want our sons and daughters to go in Form 1. And if they are not placed there, again we'll be grumpy and we will be whining and pining and lamenting as it is our tradition. But now today, today I want to hope that we are granted a new spirit in which case we shall have the paradigm shift that we will know that even in the situation of rottenness, there is a smell of resurrection. Even in the sight of death, there is a clear vision of the glory of God. And I love that. There will be a time when only when you, what you can smell is death. Your physical noses or senses will be smelling death and rottenness. Refuse to stop at that. Refuse to stop at the full smell. Allow your spiritual, spiritual senses to smell the resurrection. You are down today. You will not be down tomorrow. You are naked today. You will not be naked tomorrow. Today there is rottenness. Tomorrow there will be resurrection. It goes like that. Today you may be surrounded by hatred. Betrayal and rejection. None of the three, none of the three can cover the glory of God and the love he has for you. That is why every other time he removes the barriers. Human beings have got the capacity and the ability to erect barriers. The duty of God is to help us navigate through the barriers. They may not be removed. They may not be removed. When Daniel was put in the den of lions, we would have expected God 
to do something. One, maybe kill the lions. Then the lions would start now convulsing, they fainted. 